All right, buckle up everybody because today we are taking a deep dive into a classic, the Ford Capri MK1 1600 GT. Ooh, yeah, a true icon. It really is. I know you love this one. I do love this one. And I know a lot of our listeners out there are big fans of the Capri, so we are going to dig into a classic car profile I found and uh, see what made this car special, why it still turns heads all these years later. And what a story, right? I mean, this car really captured an era. It, it absolutely did. So let's uh, let's not waste time. Let's jump right in. And uh, should we start with what's under the hood? Let's do it. All right. So we're looking at um, 1,599cc engine, 88 bhp. Now, I know those numbers might not mean a lot to some people, but uh, help us out here. What does that actually translate to on the road? What does 88 bhp feel like? Okay. So imagine this. You're behind the wheel of this Capri. It's not going to like pin you back in your seat, right? It's right. not a muscle car. Right. But, you know, you hit the gas and there's this like this nice little growl from the four-cylinder <laughs> engine. Yeah, yeah, it's got that classic sound. It's got that classic sound, plenty of pep, you know, for cruising around town, enjoying a Sunday drive. <laughs> now, compared to some of its rivals back then, it was actually a bit uh shall we say, modest in the power department. Modest, yeah. It wasn't trying to be a sports car killer. Right. The Capri was really all about affordable sportiness, style on a budget. Okay, so speaking of not a sports car killer, the 0 to 60 time I found, uh, 13.4 seconds. Yeah. Which, to put that in perspective, my phone probably unlocks faster than that. Probably, yeah. Technology's come a long way. It really has. But you know what they say, it's not about the speed, it's about the journey. But on that note, we do have to talk about fuel efficiency because this little Capri was pretty impressive in that area, 24.8 miles per gallon. Now that was a big deal even back then. Was it really? I mean, I know gas was cheaper back in the day. Yeah, it was. But, you know, even then people were starting to think about fuel costs. So getting almost 25 miles per gallon, that was definitely a selling point for the Capri. I can see what. Okay, so we've got a good sense of the engine, the performance. But let's talk about the thing that really makes the Capri special. It's design. Oh, yeah. This is where it gets fun. Because this thing is gorgeous. I was looking at pictures earlier, and I'm like, this car can still turn heads today. And one of the first things I noticed were those wheels, the, uh, what are they called, Rostyle wheels. Rostyle, yes. And you hit the nail on the head. They were a huge deal. They just gave the Capri this instantly recognizable look, very sporty, almost aggressive. Yeah, and they still look cool today. They absolutely do. It's amazing how certain design elements just, like, transcend time it really is now while we're talking about design we got to talk about how this car was bringing together the term pressed steel monocoque comes to mind uh yes the monocoque so i'm gonna need a little help understanding that one yeah. what is a monocoque okay so think of an eggshell an eggshell yeah it's strong because the shell itself is the structure right right a monocoque is similar the body of the car and the frame are basically one unit Oh, okay. This makes the car lighter, stiffer, and probably cheaper to produce. So more efficient all around. Got it. Okay. So stylish, efficient. I'm imagining this car, it must have been a decent size, like maybe... Uh, well, you might be surprised. Really? Yeah, the Capri MK1 is actually quite compact, especially by today's standards. We're talking under 14 feet long. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that small. Yeah, it's nimble. Remember, this car was aimed at a younger demographic, maybe someone living in the city who needed something easy to park, easy to maneuver. It makes sense. So it wasn't just about looking good. It was about fitting a certain lifestyle. Exactly. And I think that's a big part of why it was so successful. Over 374,000 MK1 Capris were produced. Wow. That's a lot of Capris. It is. And it shows you how much it resonated with people. And honestly, you can still see its influence today. A lot of modern cars have kind of adopted that same philosophy, you know, compact, sporty, fun, affordable. Those are still winning qualities. Absolutely. They knew what they were doing over there at Ford. They really did. So knowing all that we know now, do you think we could say that the Ford Capri MK1 was actually kind of ahead of its time? That's a really interesting question. I mean, it ticked a lot of boxes. It did. I wouldn't say it was like revolutionary in every way, but it definitely tapped into something special. That desire for a car that's stylish, fun to drive, easy to live with, and doesn't break the bank. And that's something that's perhaps even more relevant today than it was back then. It makes you wonder what the Capri would be like if it were made today. Right. With today's technology and everything. Oh, I like the way you think. Right. Maybe we'll see a modern take on the Capri someday. I'd buy one.
All right, listeners, if you want to see this classic for yourself, just do a quick search online for Ford Capri MK1, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. You might even be inspired to take a page out of their book and uh, maybe go for a nice leisurely Sunday drive. Enjoy the journey, right? Exactly. Enjoy the journey. And thanks for joining us for this deep dive. We'll see you the next one. See you then.